Sarah from PinkCricut.com and today we're going to do a card for a challenge that is over on the Pink by Design Stamps um, website and the design team over there has started a new brand new challenge it's new to everyone and the first challenge is to make something with a sentiment in the background so making the sentiment part of the background so I'm going to make a card and I'm going to use the mustaches stamp set you don't have to use a Pink by Design stamp set for the first challenge but I'm going to and I'm going to use the smile sentiment and I'm going to use this little tiny mustache. Okay, and I'm going to use outdoor denim from Close to My Heart, a navy color, sweet leaf, a, a soft green, and gray wool from Close to My Heart. And I chose the colors based on this um, Echo Park mini theme, and this one is just called Boys Collection Kit. So we're going to use that polka dot paper in there and make the card from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to light here because some of them will probably come off of this cardstock. And I'm just I want them to go every which way. And I'm going to go to the green start filling in the green in. There's really, there's no reason or um, rhyme to the way I'm putting these on there. I'm just simply putting them on there. I'm trying to make my own pattern paper. Okay. And remember, I will have the little mustache to fill in the spots also. Okay, now we're gonna take the mustache. We're gonna start filling in some mustaches. And like I said, I just grabbed the little one, and I think that we'll, I was going to do them in black, but I think I'm gonna do them in the same colors we're using. Now, it might not be <laughs> as perfect as if you bought this paper. I hope that it's not as perfect because I'm sure they have a rhyme or reason to the way they do things. But since I did not, but I kind of like it so far. So here's our paper so far. Which it's okay because we can just use our pattern paper to use um, to do something fun right there. But I think it turned out kind of cute. I like the colors together. So now we're gonna design. Okay, I decided card. to cut one of these. I decided to cut this in half. Well, actually a little bit less than half because I'm gonna use it as an accent piece. And then I have this gray cardstock that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna stamp on it first. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the dad from the Father's Day set, our fathers, and we're going to stamp this in all different colors. So this, the dad is going to be a navy, okay, dad, and then we're going to stamp your stash-tastic from the mustache stamp set, but I think I want to leave a little room for a mustache. Whoops. Yeah, so let's do the mustache first. So I have the, ma the mustache. I'm going to stamp it in gray because I don't want it to be too bold. I'm going to put it right underneath the dad. It's always hard for me to line up without getting right over top of it, but if I get right over top of it, then you guys can't see. So, you know, it's a catch-22. Okay, then I have your stash-tastic on oh, my kind of dirty block. Here we go. I need to take one day and just clean all of my blocks, so whichever one I grab <laughs> is clean. Okay. Okay, dad, your stash tastic. See, that one's a little tiny slanted, but that's okay. And I think I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess off the bottom. I like the, I like this part, but I think I'm going to trim the bottom. That way, it's a little closer framed in. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and start adhering all this together. So I have the green paper from Echo Park line. And the card is 4x4. Four four. 
and then our little border that we made using our sentiment stamp that we're going to kind of put to the side. Okay. And then I think I might mat this one as well. And I think I'm going to mat it on a darker gray. Yeah, I think that will look really nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut this really fast. Actually, I'm just going to adhere it, and then we're going to cut it. What? I'm going to hand cut it? I'm going to trust myself to hand cut it? I'm so excited about this challenge, so I hope you guys play with us. Will you play with me? It'll be a fun challenge. You don't, like I said, you don't have to use Pink by Design stamps. You just have to um, use a sentiment and use it in the background somehow. So how easy is that? This paper is super thick. I think it's chipboard almost. It feels like chipboard. It's not, but it feels like it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's cute. Alright, and then we'll probably put something, some high decoration down here. We're going to go ahead and adhere that. And then we're going to do some twine. Mostly because I was joking, I was going to do twine with you guys the other day, and then I changed my mind last minute, so I'm going to do twine with you today. So I went ahead and grabbed the gray twine, divine twine. It's sold in the Pink by Design store, and I'm going to wrap this around here a couple of times just until I like it. All right, that could be all day. No. And then I'm just going to wrap it kind of like that so that it is not even and it's just kind of at the bottom. Kind of overlapping each other. There we go. Then I will tie it in the back and then we're going to cover it up with a piece of white cardstock. No one needs to see our mess in the back, right? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie a little knot. We're going to trim that. Okay, and I'm going to just make it sure it's situated how I want it to be situated on the front. Okay, it's cute, right? I think I might add a little button or something here, but let's cover it up on the back side. Here's my white cardstock. Alright, and then we're just going to center it. Just so, I mean, you don't have to do this step, but it just makes it cleaner looking. Okay, and then I'm going to go see what I have in my button. stash for buttons. And I grabbed some more twine, and I laced it through one of the buttonholes. There's only two holes in this navy button. I was having a hard time finding a navy button, actually. A lot of pink buttons. What good is that going to do me? Look how inky my fingers are. I have to go to the scrapbook game store tonight too because um, they're in a garage sale. Woohoo! Garage sale! I don't know if I'll buy anything, but I'll go. I actually have stuff there that I'm selling. Um, it's already there, but. Okay, let me see. Okay, make sure I have a nice, sharp, crisp edge. And then I should go and find for me. There we go. Okay, I got it. Woohoo! And I'm not gonna do a bow. I'm just gonna do a knot. I know, boring. But I'll save you guys the trouble of watching me tie the bow, which is kind of nice, right? And usually I tie them on the back, but um, when I do it this way, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do it on the front. So there we go. I think I'm gonna make them a teensy bit shorter. There we go. And there's our card. 
Dad, you're stash-tastic. And I used a sentiment to make part of my background so that it fits the challenge at pinkbydesignstamps.com. Go check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone.